In this video, we're going to focus on hiding this second skill with the matching data set with that. So if I click on hide, there you are. And if I click on show, it will reappear again. So let's start to figure out how to do this. So let's look how we can hide and show the second skill with the data set that is matching with it. So what we're going to do, I already have here the web, uh, all the border template. If you want to get the border template, this link here is in the description box. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a second data set immediately. Put a comma, paste all of that, put in here some values in here. So let's say 33, 33, 66, and then here 99, and then here 33, 33, and 99. All right. I'm going to give this a different color here, and I'll just say here the percentage. Percentage. All right. Then here, comma, and I'm going to say that this will be a line chart. So I'll say type line, comma, and what we want to do here is set up the scale. So we're going to say here, y axis ID, and this will be the second y scale, scale number two. So if I refresh, there you are. We have a second scale, but the second scale is now on the left side. I want to move that to the right side. So to do this, I'm going down here comma we say y number two as the second scale and we're going to say here position to the very right save that refresh there we are so now it works perfectly and it shows here nicely so what i want to do is that when we hide this line here or we have like a drop down option we hide the scale and also hide the line along with it so to do that let's make that drop down let's say select uh, oh, that is not what I want. I say select. All right. Then we're going to say here this select will be triggered on change. So when we change the value, it should trigger a function. And we can say here this will be the height scale. And then the value would be this is the reference to uh, this element itself. So I say here the option. And then here we have a value of 1. And this will be the selected value because this will be like show by default it will show and then what i want to do here is zero and we say here hide but of course this is not selected so if i save this refresh there we are so we have this here now the next thing what i want to do is i want to scroll down and create the function so the function name will be what we indicated was height scale and i get here the selection and what we want to have is not the selection itself, but I want to have the selection value. This is very important. So I'm going to create an if statement. And I'll say if selection value will be equal strict to zero. In that case, what I want to do then is to hide this right scale here. How do we get there? Well, from my chart into the options, scales, y2, and then here at the position right, and we could say here even display false if i do display false it will hide it if i refresh show you here there you are it has, hides it but of course i want to set this on true and i want to make it false the moment we select the value of uh here of hiding that's it so we're going to say here if the value equals that if that is true in that case i want to say my chart dot options then we say dot scales dot y number two and then we say display set equal to false and then we have another else option and the else will be set it back to true and i realize true is of course these are boolean values so these are values these are the string no need for quotation because they're not string values so if I save this, probably will not work yet. And the reason why, as you can see here, this value here is now right now not a number but a string value. And this is equal strict. It would work like this, but let's convert this, force this into an integer or a number, numeric value. So we're going to say here parse, which means to make something readable for. And what we want to make it readable for the integer. So that's an integer or a numeric value. And if I save this and refresh, it should work nicely here. Uh, there you show hide. All right, right now it doesn't work. Why? I forgot to update here. We need to update the chart the moment we do these changes. So if I refresh here, it should work now very nice.
All right, so it works. But of course, what I want to do, I want to hide this as well. So how do we hide this? Well, what we're going to do here, basically we're going to say here, because this is the line. So I'll put a comma here. That's the second data set. And this second data set, which is index zero, or sorry, index one, because this one is index zero, this one is index one. We're going to say here, hidden set on false. If I do that, it will work nicely. But if I set on true, it will hide it. There you are. As you can see here. So what I want to do is we set it on true, but we're going to change this and put that into false. So how do we do that? Well, basically we can just say my chart, and then we're going to data and to be clear, data here my chart to data data sets. And this is index zero. We don't want index zero, but we want index number one, and then get here the hidden. So let's go back here. We're going to say that data dot data set index one dot hidden set on true and what you want to do is copy this set this on false save refresh uh all right interesting we are hidden true should be in false there we are so now if i hide this it will hide the scale and it will hide the matching line and of course this here is nicely uh, strike true. Of course, this here will not show the scale because that's a different structure. So it's really based on this structure here. So we could even hide this legend if necessary. 